Hello and welcome to Tech Tool India. In this video, I am going to explain you about Laravel routes, views, and layouts. I have already installed Laravel 9 and installed Laravel UI package for authentication. So I have already installed the Laravel authentication scaffolding as well. If you want to know how we can install Laravel 9 and make this authentication scaffolding, you can find the video link in the description and watch there. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So I have already registered a user. Let's get login into the system. As soon as you log in, you see this is a dashboard. It's displaying you are logged in. And in the root, if you see, it's saying like slash home. So if you go to the code, how it looks like, the folder structure is. So we need to find our roots first. So roots for the website will be inside roots folder there is a file called web.php you need to open this file and you'll find out there are three roots this is a default one these roots are by auth scaffolding laravel ui package which we have installed and this is the home root so to define any root we need to use this root facade and this facade have generally four methods. So after root facade, we need to define which method is. is. So there are four kind of method we use in the roots. Get to get the any page or data. Post to post any data into a controller. Put for updating any data and delete for deleting any data. So these four kind of request routes which we can define here in root file so roots this is a get method and after that we need to define a uri so as you see in our after our domain name there is slash home so this is a uri the next thing which we need to define is which controller it is going to access so as it's defined the absolute path of the controller for home controller, it's inside app HTTP controllers and then home controller class. So if you go to the folder, open the app folder, there is HTTP, there is a controllers and then a home controller. So you see there, this is the home, absolute path of this home controller class. And after that, it actually tell us like which function is going to be accessed inside this controller class. So it's it's accessing the index function. So if you go to the index function, what it does, it actually returns the view of home. So this is actually returning a blade file, which is named as a home. So we'll see that. And after that, it actually defines the name of this roots. So by identifying the name, we can use this root by name. The advantage of using this name in future if we have changed this path and we are accessing our root by the name so it will work even though if we change this path so that's the best way to practice practice by using name so if you go to the controller you see we are returning a home blade file let's see where we can find this home file Let's close it out, go to our resource folder. Inside resource, we'll have view folder. Inside view, we have this home.blade.php. In this blade file, as you can see, we are extending a layout file, which is inside the layouts folder. We have this app.blade.php. So we extended this file here and added this section container section where we are just displaying a dashboard as a card header and this is a kind of alert status if there is any alert this will alert there and there you are logged in so if you go to the view file you see there is a card which has the dashboard as a card header and then you are logged in let's change it let's add some text here and see if it is changing refresh this page yes so we are on the correct page so how the layouts work we can understand here so basically what it does it actually 
you see this header if there is any footer it will be in the footer so what it does actually in the general application what what changes is the content of the page generally header and footer remains the same so what we can do we actually make a can make a layout layout file which holds all the html structure and it also yield some content that content goes between the uh, header and footer or anything i mean we can extend any content anywhere but in general this is the practice which we use for a layouts so the layout file will be be the same for all the pages but generally what changes is the content of the page so just like this let's make a test uh, layout and let's see if we can make another so i'm just copying this same line and pasted here and called it a uh, new home right and instead of uh, calling index function i called a new home function and instead of giving it a home i have given it new home so let's we need to create this function inside this home controller class we go here and simply i'll write a function here which will a new home and it will return a new file so inside our view we can make a file directly inside a view folder or we can create a folder here and then create files inside the folder creating a folder is something which we can do when we need to organize our code in such a way that we don't want to mesh a lot of file in the single folder so let's create a folder to dashboard and inside the dashboard let's call new home new home.blade.php so this is our new home template so as we are using the blade template in laravel so every view file will have dot blade dot php file to identify laravel like it's a blade template so we can use a lot of blade directive inside the blade template let's let's put it there so what we need to do here we need to extend our layouts dot f file and then we need to start a section here called contained and end section so inside this whatever we will put it will goes to the new home page so what we can do we can simply copy this container and paste it here call it new dashboard and here we can update the content welcome to the new home page right so we have our new home page and inside this new home function what we can return we can return the new home so let's add this dashboard dot new home is the new home uh, new home page file path so this will view will actually access the file inside this resources view folder and inside that if you have any file or folder if you have a direct file you can give a direct file name without dot blade dot php and if you have such folder so you can concatenate with dot and then you can access the files inside the folder so that's it let's go to the our browser and see if we can uh, edit this to new home what will see new home you see as soon as we go to this new home we see a new dashboard and the welcome to the new home page for example let's say if we want to link the home page and new home page on the navigation so since the navigation is come under the layout so let's go there inside the app.blade.php we see this blade directives guest else so the guest directive is whenever you are not logged in you see this login and register option 
and once you are logged in you see this you know logout button from the top if you go here there is a logout button uh, let's add here inside the left side of navbar let's add a auth directive inside the auth directive whatever we write it will be visible only if you are logged in so let's take uh, li and put it here give it a class of nav item and inside a nav item we will take a anchor file a anchored attribute of html and put the href of new home page so as we need to put link of new home page so you know we have already given a name to the new home which is new home so how we can do this we can put a root root function inside the root function what we can call we can call any root name so as you see it's auto suggesting but what we can essentially do is new pass the new home we can call new home here and give it a name called new home let's save it and go to the page refresh this page you see there is a new home but when i click on this you see there is a home page so home page is this as soon as you click on this new home it's going to the new home page let's add one more link here just let's copy the same and call it home and instead of new home give it a home save it go to the browser refresh this now you see there is a home and there is a new home so you can visit in between the home and new home by creating this navigation links now as soon as you logged out you see if you go to this same layout but you are not able to see that new home and home links here because we have put that file that links inside this auth directive so auth directives only will be written true once if you are a login if you are not logged in it will written false and you will not able to access any of the content put it inside this auth directive so this is the concept of layout and to for accessing any view file we need to have file inside this resources views folder to organize it better way we can create multiple folders folder inside folder and then put our blade files there and wherever we see there is a reusable component we can always put there in a separate file and use that file anywhere inside a blade file so that's how we organize our views and layouts and for routes we always use routes here and for web we use roots web.php for creating any apis we put everything inside a roots api.php so i hope this video is informative for you if you are new to the channel please do subscribe our channel to get more videos on laravel till the next video keep watching keep learning thank you for watching